Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. So, I published this a few days ago, Add Knurling to More Complex Shapes, and I did it on like a hexagon, a, uh, I guess an extruded hexagon, and I have gotten this comment twice. So, that's what we're going to do today, Energetic Ballistic Solutions. I hope you're ready for it. So let's hop into Fusion. Let us start by making a sphere. We'll select this bottom plane. Let's drag it out to, oh, let's just do 60. Doesn't really matter. And hit OK. And then we are going to make a construction plane right on the top of this sphere. So I made that 60. So let's click on the bottom here and we're going to go 60 divided by two. So 60 divided by two, which gives us 30. I could have just typed in 30. Hit OK. So now that is right at the top. I'm going to draw a sketch. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to go to my shortcuts. If you want to know more about the shortcuts, I just posted a video about that as well. Center rectangle, and I'm going to type in 60. Tab over to the other one by 60 and hit enter. And you may be wondering why is this 60 by 60 not in line with this 60 millimeter diameter circle? Well, that's because our camera is set to perspective. If we go to perspective with ortho faces, meaning when we're in like one of these views, like top, front, side, left, right, whatever, it'll be orthographic, meaning a 2D image. So let's finish sketch. So now we've got our square on top of our sphere. I'm going to come over here and hide the sphere. And I'm going to turn on the origin. And we are going to click this profile here. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to go to loft. If you don't have that set up, it'll be under create loft right here. I'm going to select this and then select this. And basically it lofts that square into the origin point. And let's hit OK. Turn the origin back off. Let's turn our sphere back on. Now let's do a intersect. Uh, so the target body will be the sphere. Tool body will be uh, that little loft we did. And make sure you're on intersect and we'll hit OK. And now we've just created one sixth of a sphere. So kind of like a piece of the pie. Okay. So now I want to create that knurling, that little cutout along uh, this little cutout of that sphere. And I want to go from corner to corner. And that seems like it would be tricky to do. But if you go up to construction planes here, you can draw a construction plane on just about anything. So we're gonna do plane through three points. And so the little box point or pops up and we're gonna select our point. So we're gonna do this point, this point, and the origin. And now you'll see it created a plane right through those two points here. Hit okay. And now let's create a sketch on that plane. I'm gonna hit P on the keyboard. Actually, you know what? We don't even really need to do that. We we know this is a 30 millimeter, 60 millimeter diameter circle. So I'm going to turn off this body. I'm going to hit C for circle. Type in 60. Oops, not 670. 60. Hit enter. And let's just double check that lines up with the body. It does. And we don't need that whole circle. So let's just draw a line through it and then I'm going to hit trim or T on the keyboard to trim this, trim this. So we basically just made a half circle and finish sketch. Now we need to draw another plane so we can draw what we're going to cut out of that sphere. So we're going to go back up to construct. We're going to do plane along a path. A little window pops up it wants us to choose the path and you can see it creates a plane and we can move this arrow wherever we want on that 
path. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the beginning, hit okay. Let's create a sketch on that plane we just made. L for line tool, just draw a line. I'll make this two millimeters. We're gonna go up to the midpoint and we're gonna make this midpoint join this midpoint. So click on this line, click there, and there we have it. I'm gonna draw another line. This time I'm gonna make it a construction line. You can click here or hit X on the keyboard. Start here and let's just make this one millimeter in length. Hit X on the keyboard again to get off construction line. L for another line and we're just making a triangle. That will be our cutout. So let's finish sketch. All right, so let's bring the sphere back and select this profile. We're gonna go up to sweep here. If you don't see it up here, you can go down to create, sweep. We already have the profile selected, which is that triangle. The path is gonna be the line we drew. We'll hit okay. All right, if we go to the top, there is our um, cutaway. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Okay, now we want to pattern this cutaway, but if we go to the origin, we're gonna do a circular pattern. You can see there's no real, we don't wanna pattern on this, because if you think about a circular pattern, if you select this uh, axis, it's gonna make a circle around that axis. And we wanna kind of circle right and left. So we need an axis at 45 degrees here between like the red and the green. And so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna hide this body. I'm gonna create a sketch right on that plane, hit L for line tool, and then hit tab to type in the 45 degrees and then there will be my axis. So finish sketch. Let's bring that body back. Now let's do a circular pattern. So we're going to go right here. When this window pops up, make sure you click on circular pattern. The object type is gonna be a feature and the feature is gonna be that sweep. Now we can choose our axis and we'll choose that line. And let's see, what are we doing? We drew that line in the wrong direction because it's gonna wanna circle, I just did that wrong. It's gonna wanna circle this way and we want it to circle this way. So I actually, I need to draw this line 45 degrees this way in line with this. Okay, so let's just click back on that sketch we did. Can we just move this? No, we can't. So I'm just gonna hit L for line, and we're just gonna type in 45 degrees again, and click. So let me hide that body. All we did is, is we went back into that sketch and we drew this line instead, and we can actually delete that line. So finish sketch. So let's turn body back on, go up to pattern, circular pattern. The object type is the feature again. Let's do that sweep. And the axis is this right here. So let's bump up the quantity to maybe like 30 and hit okay. And that looks pretty darn cool. Now this is where things might get a little Dicey. Let's turn off these sketches. We want to mirror this. And um, a lot of times Fusion doesn't like to mirror complicated things like this. So let's, let's give it a shot. So let's go to create mirror. And again, if this is on body, make sure it gets turned to features. And let's mirror that pattern we just did. And I'm gonna leave this middle one out for now because I don't wanna pattern two features because I, I believe that will freeze Fusion or at least give me some errors. So let's do the mirror plane. I don't think it really matters which one we do. There we go, let's hit okay. Ooh, it's looking good. And then now let's mirror 
this sweep. So create mirror. The feature will be that original sweep we did. The mirror plane will be this one. Kind of gives you a preview, so hit OK. And look at that. We've got knurling on this curved surface. OK, so how can we make this a sphere? Well, we're going to go back to more circular patterns. So we're going to do pattern, circular pattern. This time we're going to do bodies. So let's select our body. The axis will be, we're going to either do the green or the red. So I'll just do red and we're going to do four of them because that creates the full circle. Hit OK. Look at that. So let's mirror it one more time. So go up to pattern, circular pattern, bodies is selected. So let's select this one. The axis this time is going to be the green, right? Because remember, it's going to, when you're doing a circular pattern, it's going to circle around that axis. So you have to think about, we're looking right down green, so it's going to circle this way. So let's choose green, and we can go four. And a lot of times, this suppression will be turned off, which means you're just going to create four bodies. But we want to turn this on because this bottom one already exists. So we'll just uncheck that since we don't need that one and hit OK. And there is our sphere with knurling. Now we are left with a bunch of bodies. I'm going to go ahead and try to join them. I haven't done this yet. So let's just see if this blows up my computer. So the target body we can just pick. Oops, let's just do... So it's easier to select. Target body will be body number one. The tool bodies will just click through the rest of these bodies. And right now it's turning yellow because I'm on intersect. I want to be on join. And let's hit OK. Boom. One body. One sphere with knurling on it. And then if you want this to look really cool, let's flip this over. Let's go into design and render. We don't want to be on the top. Let's go to the front. Let's just change a few things. This is not a tutorial on how to render things. I am not great at rendering, but we're going to set up the environment here, the scene. We're going to do an environment. The environment library, we'll just do photo booth. And you can change like the position of the shadows and stuff like that. Let's just keep a long shadow on it. Hit close. The appearance, we will do just the ABS plastic and we'll maybe make this. We're going to basically create that cover that I, the thumbnail that I have on here. And hit close. And one other thing I think I did under environment is I made reflections. Hit OK. And then one other thing I forgot. For this appearance, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the reflectance way down. Actually, I'm going to basically completely shut it off. It's not translucent at all, and we'll bump up maybe roughness a little bit and hit done. And then all you have to do is in-canvas render, or you can render for real, so it'll save the photo. So if we do an in-canvas render, while it's rendering, you can see the time lapse or the elapsed time here and how many iterations it's doing. You can make it stop wherever you want. So if you want this to stop at excellent, it will. I'll speed it up. Um, I'll go all the way to final here. And I will just stop it right here. You can see I've been waiting for about a minute and a half and I'm far too impatient for this last piece. So there's my thumbnail. I just took a screenshot of this and took it into Photoshop and added some words to it. So let me hit stop on this. So anyways, Energetic Ballistic Solutions, if that's even your real name, there is your knurling on a sphere.